The first benefit of water bottles is they're relatively inexpensive. In fact, if you're reusing your old ones, they're pretty much free. This means you can do a lot of cutting. Now, because a water bottle is filled with water, you're going to want to make sure you're cutting outside. So depending on where you live and what season it is, it might be a little bit difficult. One of the problems with cutting water bottles is that you don't really need a lot of power. You can pretty much just drop the sword on it and it'll go right through. Matter of fact, you can just do a small little tip flick and it will also go right through. Now these cuts would be pretty much useless in an actual combat setting. You might get an extremely shallow wound, but chances are you're not even gonna be making it through the clothing that they're wearing. If you're relying on this to get through water bottles, it definitely doesn't help your training. As a matter of fact, you can start to develop bad habits. When cutting the water bottle, you should look for that the water bottle separates cleanly and doesn't have any pieces flying off in any direction doesn't make a lot of sound, and really, you feel like you haven't hit anything at all. If you're seeing either a big splash, pieces going flying, a loud crack as you hit the bottle, or feeling a lot of resistance, that means there's a problem with your cut. When cutting, it's important to have a good structure, good tip velocity. Cutting water bottles will tell you nothing about either of these things. However, it's also very important to have good edge alignment, and water bottles will tell you that your edge is in a line. The fact that you don't have to put as much power or speed into a water bottle can sometimes work to your advantage. If you're trying to learn a new cut, you may be able to slow it down a little bit to focus on edge alignment. Likewise, when someone's new to cutting, it may help build confidence before switching to more robust cutting materials, like tatami mats. If you only cut water bottles, you're definitely setting yourself up for some serious technical flaws. You can easily reach bad conclusions about cutting with just them as feedback. However, if you use them to fill in the gaps with your training, whether it be swinging in the air and listening to the sound, or cutting through stiffer targets like tatami mats, they can help supplement and they're better than cutting nothing. basically even with the, the proper cut because the plastic's so hard it still chips. Mm -hmm.